This geometric construction problem is about octagons. We're asked to create two concentric octagons so that one is 1 and 5 eighths across the points and the other is 1 and 5 eighths across the flats, both of which having point O as the center. So in order to do any sort of polygon like this, where you're given a distance across the flats or points, you always start with the circle. So in this case, for both of them, it's the same circle, and that's a 1 and 5 eighths diameter. Since the compass works off of radius, we need to divide that by 2. So for those of you who struggle with mental math, here's how I do it. So I look at the whole number 1, I cut that in half. That's 1 half. 1 half is the equivalent of 8 sixteenths. So I move that aside mentally. Then I take a look at 5 eighths. How do we cut 5 eighths in half? Anytime you cut a fraction in half, you just double the denominator. So half of 5 eighths is 5 sixteenths. So we had 8 sixteenths plus 5 sixteenths. That's 13 sixteenths. So that is our radius that we want to set our compass to. So I'm going to start with a 13 sixteenths radius. And we'll put the pin of the compass there at point O. And we're going to swoop. That's the bummer. And let's try that again. Move the compass. Create our construction circle. Remember, the circle is not the end goal, so you don't want it to be super dark. You just want it to be dark enough to where you can see it, but easily erased later. Okay, so there's our start point. So there's our circle. So an octagon has eight sides. When you divide 360 by 8, you wind up with 45 degrees. So that's the triangle that we're going to use for this. So I need my 4590 triangle, and I also need my T-square in order to solve this problem. Otherwise, just about all the other work is done. So I'm going to start with my T-square and triangle combo. And we'll do the... Uh, We'll do the inscribed first. The inscribed uh, uh, octagon means that all of the points are going to touch the circle on the inside. So what I want to begin with is a horizontal line, and I don't need to actually draw the entire line. I'm just going to line it up there with point O. And I'm going to put a little mark on the left and on the right. And I'll use my triangle, set that on top of the T-square, line it up with point O, little mark up top, mark the bottom. Then we're going to slide it over and line up that 45 degree, still on top of the T-square, with point O. Put a little mark on the circle, flip it over, same thing, line it up with point O, mark on the circle. Now it's a matter of connect the dots. So <coughs> In order to draw our inscribed octagon, I just have to connect all of the individual points that we just created. And there we have a regular inscribed octagon. Okay. The circumscribed octagon is actually a little bit quicker. We don't even need to mark anything. All we need is that same 4590 triangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the T-square and bring it up to the bottom of the circle so it's tangent. And I'm going to make a line, slide it up to the top of the circle, tangent, make a line use my triangle, the 90 degree, tangent to the circle, and I'm going to make my line, 
same on the opposite side. Change it to the circle. Make my line. Now I use the 45s. Slide it to the edge of the circle. Tangent. Connect. Slide it over. Tangent. And connect. Rotate it around. Tangent to the circle. Connect. And slide it back. Still tangent to the circle. And connect the last set. And now we have a circumscribed octagon, which all you got to do is then clean up any overlaps. So we get rid of the little pieces that stick out on any of the sides so that we have our regular octagon. And there you have it. There's both of the inscribed and circumscribed octagons.